This video is the first in a series of videos describing the configuration of the Trilithic Seeker D digital leakage detector using the Trilithic Seeker setup software. After installing the software, you'll want to make sure you install the drivers to be able to connect to the Seeker D. When you first open the software, you'll notice that we use this for several different models. You'll want to make sure it's on the Seeker D tab. Under display units, you have some options. It's almost always going to be microvolts per meter. However, you do have a couple other choices. The connection method, when you first plug the Seeker D into your PC using a USB cable, the drivers will assign that connection a COM port. You can find that in your device manager. In this case, it's COM port 3. On your PC, uh, if it's assigned COM3 or COM4, it'll almost always be COM3 or COM4. Let's look at some of the options you have. The Tech ID field, this has to have a value. This value has to exactly match an authorized meter user in the law software. In order for you to be able to upload the data to the law software, the Seeker D Tech ID has to be an authorized meter user in the law software. Truck squelch, this field is used to block readings at or below the readings you specify in the truck. For the initial configuration, we recommend you set this to two. Squelch is simply the value at which you'll hear the audible alert in this case 20 microvolts per meter if the level on the seeker exceeds 20 microvolts per meter you will hear the audible alert Ena enable peak hold is an option uh, simply holds the highest level the seeker sees for five seconds enable distance correction is a value we typically suggest you do not use however if you choose to use it if this is enabled, using this icon here, you can set the distances in the Seeker D. In this case, I have four distances enabled with uh, uh, the values associated with those. The technician can manually change the distance the Seeker D is using. This has nothing to do with the levels that law uses to calculate where the leak is or the leak level. It does not make the Seeker D more sensitive. It simply changes the displayed value on the Seeker D. The level shown on the display is derived from the following equation. Displayed value equals distance times level divided by 10. In the next video, we'll look at the frequency presets section. And then in the third and final video, we'll look at the antenna correction settings and some of your options on the right side.